Aloha, aloha. All right, guys, this is Manifest Cabin Corp. Just going to give you guys a real quick video on tutorial on how to use grid title block to make drawings, sketch drawings, right? So it's just sketching, sketching problems, right? So why are you trying to learn this? Because, again, you want to be able to get this out to your employees, employers uh, that you want to, you know what you're doing, right? Uh, you get your ideas out there in a systematic way where you can show how smart you are, right? You don't really want to be smart. We want to make you brilliant. Smart is saying something smart, actually, like saying, Oh, that's how I say that's how long this is. And you say, oh, this big, right? That's just smart. No, you want to become brilliant. Brilliant people don't talk. They have other people do it for them. So this is what we this separates you from being smart to brilliant, right? So what do you learn today again? It's just around how you sketch. It's drawing just using grid without using the ruler once you already laid out the grid, right? And this is important because if you're going to be in this trade, you got to have all these savvy ways of becoming uh, the next person or going to learn a job, run a business, and save money. Or spend money within your company so you can grow better, grow bigger. How you know you did it, and how you know um, you're successful, is when you're able to go out and teach someone else. Because there's a whole concept of this thing is to reduce, recycle, reduce, or reuse, recycle, and be able to show others how to do what you do uh, for free, right? Why well, isn't like you make money doing it without spending any money doing it? All right, get right into it. Title block is right here. We created a title block which is a half an inch, all right? We know by already we stated to say this is a half an inch, so we made this a half an inch. And we're showing other individuals how smart we are by knowing that this is a half an inch. All right. Each box is a half an inch by our scale. Half inch equals six inches. Now, we want to sketch this right here. Well, given that this is not exactly this because this is laid out different. This is scanned in property uh, piece of paper. So we want to say it's a sketch problems, right? We want to sketch these drawings. If this is exactly a half an inch marks based on a scale here, we know if we count these boxes, we can actually come out to exactly what they say this thing is, right? And given that, so if we count this out, so this is half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, just add them up. I can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine, right? But that's not the case. You see that line right there? That's not quite, that's not quite nine boxes right you could say that's almost an eighth of an inch or quarter uh, eighth of an inch away or three sixteenths away from this box here and in order to do is also to figure it out you can't figure it out with a ruler right you fold this in half right now you can say i have a quarter of an inch of my box right there well that line is just past a quarter of an inch of the box so you can go anywhere between an eighth or three sixteenths so you'll say you have eight and three sixteenths if you wanted to say that or you can say you have eight and like eight so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight and one eighths. Well, in actuality, you can say this because it's a half inch marks. You can count eight boxes, or you can just say I have one, two, three, four, and an eighth. That's how long this thing is if we come into inches, convert it into inches, and not just counting boxes, right? Then you can figure out how tall it is by counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? And you times it by two, you can also get the same number. You can, you can add it up. Times it by two, add 12 again, it's 24. I can just count these boxes individually. So just want to say this this is an inch because it's two, four, that's one, two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches. Go count two boxes, six inches. So, all right? So it's six by four on this thing here six inches tall four and an eighth you can say right between this box here is four and an eighth for this uh this meter here but the overall from overall to overall is actually this one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can say this is one inch two inches three inches four inches five so one inch two three four and a half so it's four and a half not five four and a half inches so just to tell you what i'm doing i'm actually counting my boxes one that's one inch two this is three this is four and just given this thing out here just overall overall is five four and a half inches and again i'm counting all the boxes this way but i for to take consideration i gotta draw this little uh indentation I'm gonna come in a quarter of an inch or eighth. I'm gonna come on an eighth of an inch in to draw this in. 
what I have to really have to draw by using anything else but just using just the grid itself. So I want to keep this real sweet and short, man. There's nothing really uh, technical about this. You just all you're doing is counting boxes and grids. Again, I'll show you in different uh, drawings how you can literally get into drawings like this, especially by sketching within the box itself. And you're giving people a, a quick idea on how to literally become, draw these things just using a grid, right? Sketching this out in a grid. So you're giving people an idea like, yo, this is between this, this parameter, this parameter, and this is how you can gauge it, right? It's the same thing like tiles on the floor. I can count the tiles on the floor to get to the next person by saying this, right? Um, and that's really where I sit with this, because I didn't want to go too deep into it. This is really what I just want to say that you're just counting boxes to literally sketch out these drawings, right? That's all you're doing. You include all three of these, and you can pick one of these. You can draw one of these. Draw it. Try it out. So I advise you to draw all three of these and just pick one of these to try it out, right? So again, you're just taking grid to actually make sketch out drawings uh, for projects to give people an idea. So this is how you take your professional world to come in the professional world. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. And you know I do it. <gasps> Later.